In the last video, we drew this apartment plan, but in today's video, we are going to be doing the electrical plan of this apartment. Well, so if you haven't watched, it's important to check it out. Basically, to draw an electrical plan, we need the lighting system, we need the switches, the sockets, and the cables to show our distribution system. So to begin, I would like to choose the kind of lamps to use, commonly called bulbs. So we are going to move to lamps on a G-Cat under design. And um, for the parlor, I'm going to start with the parlor lighting system. I would like to use the chandelier, which is commonly called the pendant light. That's a decorative light at the center of the parlor. So we are just going to select that and move to the parlor and place it at the center. The next kind of light we want to explore is the kind of light we are going to put in our rooms and in our kitchen. So let's dive into lamps and uh, we are going to use the ceiling lamp 27 so the ceiling lamp is the best kind of lamps i like to use in the rooms and i prefer type 3 because type 3 is cool we're just going to click ok and we'll place it at the center of the rooms so here's the center of the room equally we are going to place it in the kitchen and in the toilet too Another kind of lamp we want to explore is the kind of lamps to put in our balcony. So you still click on lamps. And on our balcony, we like to use the pendant lamps. We equally need a light in the corridor area here. So we're just going to click on lamps. And we are going to get a small nice lamp. And use the recess spot lights. And we just place it in the balcony. It's important for us to put wall lights in the room so that while sleeping you can use the wall lights. So you just click on lamps and uh, you navigate down to. So I want to choose wall lamps like this one and um, I want it to pull out with a type 12. I like to use type 12. And we are just going to place it beside the bed. So it's just going to be beside the bed. So we'll try to rotate it. And we are going to mirror a copy so we can use it in the other room. The next aspect we want to explore is the switches and these switches help us to be able to on the lamp so just think of them on off on off so we are going to, to do that we are going to click on objects and we are going to type in switch and different types of switch are going to pull up like we have the one-way switch we have the two-way switch we are going to start by choosing the switch for the parlor which is a two-way switch and we are going to click ok so you are going to position a switch in the parlor at the entrance so you can be able to on the bulb in the parlor so you are just going to rotate it equally at the exit of the parlor it's important for us to put a two-way switch drag a copy in the kitchen it's important for us to have a switch at the entrance of the kitchen so we are going to put a switch here and we want it to be a one-way switch so we are just going to go back to to objects and uh, select one-way switch for the kitchen equally we want to place a one-way switch at the entrance of the toilet because we don't want a switch to be inside the toilet so that water doesn't cause havoc inside the toilet so we are going to use that to so just try arranging your objects to look neat at the entrance to every room it's important we put a two-way switch so we explore the two-way switch and uh, we just have to place it here and here so that when the door opens this way the person can on the switch on the other side so you just have to select the switch it's equally important to put the switch beside the bed so to do that so put a one-way switch at the side of the bed here and we do it at the other side so you just have to drag a copy here you put a one-way switch this way this one-way switch will enable you to on the lamp here and off it here so it will be easier for you to off then equally it's important for us to put a switch outside to on the, the lights outside while you're outside and that will be a one-way switch well that's great 
after placing switches it's important for us to connect these switches to the bulbs so you know which switch is controlling which bulb and to do that we are going to move to documents and we are going to choose lines and the kind of line we are going to use is the sp line which is called the spleen line right so you are going to select the switch from this point and you are going to move with it to the bulb which is controlling so one way switch means it controls one bulb so let's take the other one two way switch here this switch is going to control the exterior bulb outside and this same switch is going to control the bulb in the parlor so you can place it here equally this switch here is going to control the bulb in the parlor and uh, this same switch is going to control the bulb in the corridor so that's why this is two-way switch it controls this light bulb and this light bulb this is two-way because it controls this light bulb and this light bulb and this is one way because it controls this light bulb same with the kitchen we are going to do same in the room we are going to have this switch controlling this bulb in the room and equally we can use this same switch to control the bulb in the balcony and we can do same here this switch controls this bulb and it equally controls the bulb in the corridor this switch here controls the light in the toilet and this switch controls the light in the room so while sleeping you can just off your light you don't need to wake up and go to the door to be able to off your light right so so we have connected our switches to bulbs after placing switches it's important for us to place sockets in our houses we have appliances such as fridges we have televisions and these all need electricity to be able to function so to do that we have to introduce sockets in the house where they are going to plug in those appliances and to do that move to objects and we are going to type in sockets that's s o k e and we are going to have sockets so the first kind of sockets we want to put are the sockets that will be in the parlor so we are going to use the socket outlet two gangs so we are just going to place the sockets where they are supposed to be so we'll place it here for the parlor so that it be it, it it's beside the tv so they can use it just beside the tv in Archicad, we don't have tv sockets as a symbol so we'll use the normal socket with two gangs and we'll place it here click on living room move drag a copy we are going to reduce the size of the living room to tv i'm going to reduce it to 0 0.5 and we are just going to copy that and place beside the socket so here we are indicating that this is the tv socket because Achika doesn't have tv socket but in your electrical legend you are going to place tv socket so we are going to shift the socket a little bit below in the parlor it's ideal to have at least three sockets so we are going to place another socket at um beside the chair here let's say like beneath the window here we need a socket so we can put a lamp and we equally need a socket this way beside the switch so this can help us to put our decorative lamps in the house where we want to put behind a chair it's very important so we get a socket there another place we want to place a socket is in the kitchen and to place a socket in the kitchen we will want to use uh, this kind of socket so we'll just have to drag a copy and uh, we'll place this socket where we want to place the fridge probably i want to place the fridge here and equally in the kitchen it's important for us to have two sockets so let's place one in the opposite direction you can have other appliances like where you can put your water boiler and the rest so it's important to have a socket for the room it's important to have two sockets one at the entrance and one beside the bed where you can charge your appliances so we are going to drag a copy here and we are going to place a socket this way We are equally going to place a switch beside the bed so we're just going to drag a copy from here and we'll place a switch this way we are going to mirror a copy to send it to this other room 
so we are just going to make sure that we place a socket this way we are going to place a socket at the entrance of the toilet it's very very important and on the balcony outside it's equally important to place a socket yes people used to ask me what is the socket used for if you decide to drink your tea or have something to do like just sitting outside and you don't want to get into the house to charge your phone you should put it there right because you have a balcony and this balcony you're going to cover it to make sure that water doesn't get to that point so that's all fine so this is a basic electrical plan of a building so um there are other things like fuses junction box and all the rest that we could explore but here we just wanted to draft the basic electrical plan so you know how an electrical plan functions right so with that said uh, if you did find this content interesting we give god all the glory and thank you so much for watching we pray that you help us to subscribe so we can be able to build our channel thank you